Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show how to create continuous junction barrier using adaptive roads mod. So I'm gonna launch the asset editor and I have the direct connect roads mod as well. The DCR, DCR mod and height crossing mods ignore adaptive roads because, uh, well, they don't create meshes for them anyway. Uh, that because the mesh generation or the texture generation is automatic and it has some problems and adaptive roads does a better job of that anyway so uh, That's why I ignore the uh, adaptive roads and I expect the asset designer to do it in ad ad adaptive roads So here I'm gonna create a road based on a basic road And uh, Direct Connect Roads uh, has already generated a mesh for us because I based it on a vanilla road. Um, so I'm going to create a junction here for demonstration and some bend node. And let's create a high priority road in here. All right, so the DCR mod is working in the Asset Editor. So if you hover over this, uh, um, DC node that the DCR mod has created, you can see the DC node and from where to where it is going. The direction of the arrow should, goes from the source to the target uh, segment end. All right, so uh, if I uh, click this, uh, we don't really need to render it on the band node, so for some performance boost, we can for a bit bend in here. Okay, that's a little bit faster, maybe. <laughs> uh, another issue is that when I zoom out, you can see the, uh, the texture disappears. And that is because uh, the DCR mod is unable to create LODs. So you have to do it using uh, Blender yourself. Well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to create LODs using Blender, so. If someone knows how to do that, they should do it for their roads. Uh, moreover, I want to forbid this uh, when DCR mod is absent. So I'm gonna go to flags forbidden and I'm gonna put, well, I would require the DCR mod. So I will require the DCR mod here. So if the DCR mod is absent, we don't want this mesh because we don't want it to be always present. We only want it to be present when the median is unbroken and we cannot determine that if we don't have the DCR mod. Uh, also, uh, you can see that there is a uh, height broken medians here that as you can see in the hint box, it tells the DCR mod, I wrote mode, that's a typo. It tells DCR mod to manage this node. All right, so I'm gonna make some improvements here. So let's say uh, if this is a, uh, let's say, uh, if I, if I put the pedestrian crossings here, or uh, uh, let me uh, from the scratch. So, uh, as you can see, the ped pedestrian crossing disappeared and everything disappeared. Uh, it's because uh, the direct connect mesh is being rendered on the top of the previous one. But we don't want that necessarily to happen. So I'm going to create a better uh, DC mesh here uh, that does different things uh, based on different traffic manager rules. I think we also don't need traffic lights in here. Um, so I'm going to delete this one, uh, because, uh, sometimes the DCR mod doesn't generate DC nodes. So I'm going to create how to create, do it from the scratch. So I'm going to use, uh, 
mod tools to dump the mesh. I'm gonna go to segments, the first one, and dump. All right, did it dump? Yeah, it dumped. Gonna put it inside a folder to be organized. DC example. Uh, these names are very long. Let's view details. All right, so I'm going to modify this in Blender. So I have Blender open here. And I'm going to import waveform. So how can I add a bookmark in here? Okay, let's remove this. Clean up, add bookmark. Okay. Let's open this. All right, so I'm gonna view from the Z side. I'm going to select this and tap into edit mode. So what I want is to only have the median, not the asphalt. So I'm going to delete all of these things. Let's select faces. And delete the rest. Wait a moment. It didn't select this because I was looking from exactly above. Okay, let's delete this now. Now let's export this. Export wavefront. Uh, let's overwrite it. And now let's load this model in here. So I'm gonna add a node in here, load our model. Uh, it should be, oh, these names are very long. It should be this one. Select. Let's make this uh, direct connect. Let's make it train station connect group so that it would be but compatible with vanilla. If you don't care about vanilla compatibility, you can use a custom connect group. Then uh, we can uh, add the connect group. Yeah, the connect group is already here. So yeah, it's working fine. Uh, if I allocate dedicated turning lanes here, what will happen? Oh, this, this is has lane arrows. So if I break the median, it will go away. Otherwise, it will come back. It already hide the uh, broken medians, so we can uh, forbid bend node uh, for better performance and require the DCR mod. All right, so. As you can see, the median is connected, but the pedestrian crossings are still there. Now, what if the user uh, creates a high priority road in here? So at such circumstances, when, when there is no pedestrian crossing and uh, 
it's a high priority road with uh, going through block junctions and this uh, main thing, uh, this uh, main priority sign existing here. Uh, I think it would be nice to do render the asphalt. So I'm going to do that. So we're always going to uh, render the median when it is unbroken and we optionally uh, render the asphalt uh, when it's a high priority road. So I'm going to add a node here for asphalt. Let's go to Blender again. Let's, so this time I'm just going to delete the pedestrian crossings. Let's select meshes. Can I unselect all? All right, let's just select the meshes, uh, the pedestrian crossings. If I do this, it's going to delete all the... Okay, now I have to do face select. Face select. Face select. And I'm going to deselect this part. This. Let's select the whole thing. And then deselect this asphalt. This is subtraction, right? Let's subtract this and subtract this. All right, so we can delete the faces. Excellent. So now we have uh, only the asphalt. Oh, and this thing. Let's delete that too. How do I select that? Let's select the whole thing like this. All right, so that is selected. And now I'm going to deselect the asphalt. Yeah, that should delete that. All right, so now we have only asphalt in here. Let's go and export to waveform object export obj. I think we should move this up a little bit. I forgot to move this up because there would be Z fighting otherwise. So I'm going to move it up by a little bit, like uh, one centimeter, 0.01. Enter. Okay, let's export that now again. Export as a waveform. All right, now let's import that here. All right, so we make it DC connect group train station uh, flags forbidden bend flags required DCR. Uh, so this one we only want to be there if uh, it's a high priority road. So first of all, there should be no pedestrian crossing. So we're gonna forbid uh, the crossing. And I'm gonna say check target flags. I think you should always turn this on when you're dealing with DC stuff. Uh, I, I don't think there's any scenario when turning this off would be useful. So basically what it does, it means that the, both the source segment end and the target segment end should have uh, this criteria, not only one of them. Makes it less random. Because if we don't turn this on, uh, what's going to happen, I will show you. Uh, so as you can see, this arrow is going, uh, this arrow on the road is going from the source to the target. So it's the source flag that uh, counts. <clears throat> so if I uh, remove the source pedestrian, it will work. If I remove the target pedestrian, it doesn't work. 
but now if I check this one out, then uh, <clears throat> it doesn't make any difference if it is the source or the target. And the, the user doesn't want to be bothered with the source and target anyway, so I think this should always be on for symmetry. So <clears throat> another thing that we might want to uh, turn on is uh, going through blocked junction. So we want to require uh, keep clear. As you can see from the hint, it's uh, entering blocked junction. Are we not keeping clear from this? We are keeping clear, but why doesn't it work? Oh, sorry, keep clear is the opposite of uh, going enter in block junction, so we need to forbid it. Oh, now it works. So if I r remove this, yeah, it works now. Okay. So I think that's a very nice DC node. And uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, I think uh, we are done here. Just uh, one thing to consider, you also need to create LODs. I haven't done that here, as you can see. Uh, and don't forget to move the LODs up by one centimeter so that it wouldn't be Z fighting like this. Okay, so have a nice day. Bye.